I'm telling you this. You can force feed someone. Okay, udulele na fats and show them everything. I guarantee you, when they get home, they're not going to do half of the things. That's what, like, I do believe some people are meant to be rich, and some people are just gonna work for the rich. And it's like that. We're not built the same. The things that I desire and the things that I want is not gonna be the same because we don't have the same drive. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> DJ School Live presents TikTok Game Changers. Hello everybody, welcome to DJ Subu Live. Big Home is back here again. Guys, please click the like button, click the subscribe button so we get to grow. Why do we, why do, we do DJ Subu Live? We do DJ Subu Live because it's content creation time now. It's either you're a consumer or you're a producer. So in real life, me now I'm a producer. Yes, as much as I'm a consumer as well, I buy things all the time. I buy food, I buy clothes. Um, but at the same time, I choose to become an entrepreneur and create stuff, produce stuff. So I'm what they would call an industrialist. I create drinks. Uh, you know, we manufacture beverages. And that's how I've, you know, been able to create a company. I've been also been able to create a radio station or actually two radio stations where we create content on a daily basis just like a lot of you guys out there who owns these puzzle shop or everybody sells something so in this new world that we are on remember the old world is gone there's still some people who still think maybe the world is still gonna go back to how it was before COVID 19 lockdowns no that is all gone that's the past so in this new world that we're in you also have to choose online are you also going to continue being just a consumer or oh, you're also going to start creating stuff and learning from this online world so you can have not only just a side hustle, so you can build yourself an empire or a main hustle where you can just monetize being online, make money all the time, have passive income that comes online, create e-commerce businesses, but that comes with a lot of knowledge and it comes with you applying yourself and telling yourself, I'm intentionally going to take some time to learn how to make money online. So this person that I brought you guys here is here to share some things about how they've been able to monetize their presence online, how they're building their brand online, and how are they also helping other people make money online. Because one of the things that I loved about them is they're not just online to just brag about them making money, but they're online to teach and share and help others. And I'm one of the uh, followers who learned so much from them. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to bring you a digital entrepreneur. She is a hustler. She make things happen. And Babamba Mita, Ba Pusha, Babamba Mita, BA Pusha. I don't know what she refers to herself as, but Naki Mita, Ba Pusha, Ba Tuka How you doing? Welcome. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What an intro, what an intro. How are you? How are you, sweetie? I'm, I'm very excited to have you here. I, I, dude, I'm, yeah, like I said, when you hit me up, I was like, oh my gosh. I sent my mom the, the text. I was like, yo, who's Buddha finally, finally invited me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, I, I, I said to my mom, yeah, this year won't end until Us Buddha invites me oh, to the show. Yeah, yeah. Like I told yo, my mom this yo, day. Because yeah. I told you uh, I, behind the scenes, of course, I'm going to tell you how you know me. Because you think you know me from TikTok. Yeah, because I know you from TikTok. <laughs> and for me, I love your content so much on yeah. TikTok. When you get here, you're like, no, I also have got a YouTube channel. I'm like, I don't know. I only know you from TikTok. Yeah. But then again, I meet a lot of, of people. people and, exactly. and people who who like share the type of content that you share, I gravitate towards them. Because it's like-mindedness. I love entrepreneurship. I love making money online. I love sharing information with mm. others, how to make money for themselves. Mm. I love encouraging people to start businesses. And that's exactly what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, um, first of all, it's an honor. And thank you so much. You don't know how much... For me to actually be here, I used to, like I used to follow you religiously, um, uh, from YFM days all the way. To Are you serious? Oh, yeah, it's Buddha. We were we were working at, at Urban Brew together. I was, I used to be a TV presenter because of you when you were doing. Um, were you, you on your TV? I was on uh, It's for Life. You I used lie. to work with Lori and things like that. You actually, let me tell you the story. Okay, let me tell you. Me, let me tell you. Time, don't okay, worry, let me tell you how, you how we met. Then we, we're going to get into this, right? So uh, you were on YFM, uh, and then when you were YFM, you did the whole Pusha Panda. Pusha Pusha Panda. Pusha Pusha Panda. Pusha Panda. Pusha Panda. But in high school, they used to call me Pushes, right? I'm a Pusha. Like people that sell cigarettes, I'm a sweetie, whatever. I used to, I used to be one of those pushes so Same they used to, yeah. yeah so I that's what i used to do yeah it things like that scale, so i listened to your you, to, like the way that you used to hustle on radio and i was like this guy sounds exactly like me right so i started following you but i went overseas of course there was other things i used to play professional football and other stuff that i used to do so i went overseas so i lost in touch of your content 
when I came back to South Africa, obviously I got depression and all of those things got over it because I don't know what to do but sports or, you know, the hustle side. And now I need to get a job in order for me to sustain what I was doing as an adult in my 20s. Then I started following your content and I started a clothing line called Pusha Panda, oh. right? I started a clothing line called Pusha Panda because of you. And then... Uh, I started TV presenting because of Bo Scoop Makatini and the guys the, for, 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 yeah, forever young, right? I was yeah. like, yeah, I love this thing. You know, this is what I could do, right? So I quit my job right there and then. And I started, the more Lungsta. Lungsta, right? Yeah. I quit my job right there and then in the middle of, of, of like, I, I don't know how I'm going to pay my rent or whatever. I'm staying with my partner at the time. And I was like, yo, I don't want to do this anymore. Quit my job. Because of what I was listening, <laughs> like, you were like, if you don't love what you're doing, then you're wasting your time. There was a... There, there was things that you used to say is your problem is yeah, yeah, yeah your, your problem, problem your, your yeah. biggest problem <laughs> like, the biggest problem is that you make excuses you what what, what 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 and i was like yeah i'm making excuses you know quit my job and i i started uh being a tv presenter the story is too long to actually get into it did it's for life and then while we were shooting it's for life you were shooting uh, friends like friends these. like these I don't know, out of nowhere, Buddha, you stepped from stage, you came to me, and you're like, yo, you know when you want to be a presenter, you have to do... I'm like... Are you serious? I'm serious. You gave me, like, advice. Yeah, you must always be yourself. Don't worry. Like, nobody... Oh, go speak to her. Go give her advice. You just came from stage. I think you saw how fascinated I was by you, like, looking at you presenting, you know? And then you spoke, you spoke, you said, shop, 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 gone, right? Uh, then you launched more fire, right? When you launched More Fire, and then uh, you had that beautiful car that I still want right now, the Porsche, <laughs> right? Oh, the Porsche. Yeah, you had the beautiful car. You used to the come and smell. Yeah, did you give it away? I think I gave away the black one. I had a white one. Yeah, you had a white one. Anyway, those yeah. are the days. Those are yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the days. I my van. Oh, fun now. So, because these things don't matter anymore, right? <laughs> you grow up and you realize what's important, right? But I love, I, I need to drive it once in a while. Just, just once. And, and just like, yeah, yeah like just to. once yeah. in my life. And then um, it launched and we met, a, a, you, a, a, I finished shooting. I was like, yo, Buddha, I need whatever. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to go to Nolene quickly. I'm shooting with Nolene. When you come, when I come back, if you can wait for like the, uh, two hours, it took six hours. The same way that I was waiting now. <laughs> I waited. I was like, yeah, I'm going to be patient. You came out, gave me advice, gave me Amma Cairns. Like, you know? You lie, more fire cans. Yeah. Give me my cans, and they were still new. Like I was, I was like, I'm never gonna drink this. Like, was still new. You're yeah. still still new there. Yeah. And then you gave opportunities of selling the more fire, right? But there was your distribution was like, yeah. you know, it was we didn't bad. even have a distribution. Right. Like it was you tough. couldn't get like it was tough. Like so, but the, I found ways of actually getting it, right? Then I started selling more fire, right? The, from from in the vault, people know in the vault. Started selling more fire, and then after that, I was like, okay. Now what, you know? Um, and then obviously I started learning about events coordinating, and I became a, one of the biggest events coordinators that you can think of. Start hosting like festivals and everything else. Opened up offices in the Val. Uh, started signing artists. I don't know what what I was doing half of the time. Mm. It was just money just coming out of my pocket, and it was just it was just a horrible experience, but a beautiful experience at the same time because I was not chasing the money at the, at the end of the day. It was just a passion that I just loved doing. You know, eventing. You know, you could mm. there's jock, there's this, there's that oh, that you have to pay. There's a lot of work. At the end of the day, it rains. And yeah, <laughs> the main things that you can't stop that are out of your control. Yeah, exactly. So you lose money, and I would I would say uh, the pandemic was a blessing for me. You know, like seriously, it was a blessing. It was like a blessing for me because. So, so your life changed during the pandemic. Drastically, drastically, because I didn't realize how much I was like. I always believed in giving back, and 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 I wanted because I'm from the Val, right? So I, I didn't understand why artists in the Val are so talented, but they're not blowing up. Like it didn't make sense, right? So that's why I started opening up offices uh, in, in 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 the Val. To say, okay, don't travel to Joburg to to, 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 to to get this stuff. Like, let's record, let's get our music. We'll bring Joburg to us, you know. We'll do all these things that, we, you know, you, you go to Joburg to do, you know. Uh, because I already had, because I was in Urban Brew, so I had connections, you know. I had I, I knew Banba, I knew who worked at whatever, you know, you know how it works, right. So you can plug people in proper and whatever. But it didn't work like that, you know. Um... And I was just losing money, breaking relationships. I, could, I couldn't understand what was going on. 
And then when the pandemic hit, and it forced me to sit down and really, really assess myself to say, are you happy? Do you, do you want to continue with this? Is this, is this, have you ever been happy? Because everybody gets paid except you, right? The DJ gets paid. Uh, the sound guy gets paid. The security guy gets paid. The person that doesn't get paid is the person that put it together, you know? Um, and it was not about money, and I understood that. But at the end of the day, it, it just be, slowly becomes anxiety to depression. Because they, we'll they're not, about the challenge. you want to uh, understand not making money, and, and that's how events are. I think a lot of events organizers out there can relate mm. that actually, from from the, maybe maybe one gig you make a bit of money, mm. but then people in the outside think you're making a killing. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, it's a new one, and most of the yeah. events that you do, you don't even make half of the money, you don't even you make <laughs> nothing. You, are you uh, what's this, uh, return on investment, uh, uh hardly you know most of the time so when the pandem- pandemic hit and I, I remember i just came back with from with my mom from uh, the portuguese islands and it just hit just then and we had to sit home and then obviously i had to close my offices and everything else and i paid everyone and i was left with 1.5 in my bank account 1500 1500 in my bank account yeah. so i was like rents thank ba- yeah. basic in, Ameri- <laughs> in american dollars it's a hundred dollars hundred dollars yeah. right and I was like, my mom was like, at least you have a roof over your head. In corn, I get There's food, there's a fridge. Don't don't worry about it. You know, don't worry about all of this. Just do what you have to do. Let's let it pass, and then we will continue with this. And the best thing I did was in that one thousand five hundred, I bought uh, Celsi data, right, for the month. It it was about fifty gigs. When I tell you, it's boo. Monday to Sunday, I sat on my laptop and I went to this thing called YouTube, right? Looked at content. Uh, it was obviously international content, right? And these guys were talking about basically how YouTube would pay. And I was like, okay, YouTube pays. I didn't know this, right? And then I went to South African content creators. This information was not out there. I, I was wondering why is it, why is this a kept sec- secret to know how to monetize and how to actually make money and it wasn't even a secret it was out there. It, it was out there but i think but none of us were in south africa yeah. were giving out because if you're south african and you've done it before i would hope that you would say yo this is my first paycheck from you know youtube they paid me this much and whatever it, it would encourage me to actually get started because it's someone that i can relate to right so that information wasn't out there and then uh I used to watch Bossi Wumpanza, you know, get... Si Wumpanza is the first YouTuber yes. that I actually used to watch yes, in South Africa definitely. a few years ago. He was actually even the first YouTuber that I interviewed. And I asked him about uh, one having to build a career on YouTube. And yes. he was like, even on his profile, it was like, I'm a YouTuber. That's it. That's what I am. That's that's what he, he does. I love that about Sibu. Sibu is, I think Sibu, I could relate to him. Like he's one of the first 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 to get people. into YouTube in the country. In the country, yes. Love this content, you know. Um, from there, then I, there were there were not a lot of content creators that were doing what we're doing, educational, right? Uh, education, right? This is what you do. This is how you do it, and things like that. And then w- I listened to some few content international content and um this guy was talking about apps but he was not take, like giving us information like this is where you go this is what you click this is what you do like you can make money out of apps gave me one app and then it was international app i, I forgot I, I field agent or whatever and you can do the survey and i did i did that one thing and then i got my first dollar i was like wow i've just made I, 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 feel, I feel like I made a million. Like yeah, the way yeah. I was like, wow, yo. But it was where? In PayPal. What is PayPal? How does PayPal work? How do I get my money? How do I trans... Like, okay, it's 15 rand, but if I can make 15 rand, boo. It means I can put in zeros. If I can make zeros, boo. Like, okay, this thing actually works. And then I started educating myself about all these apps. And then, of course, like day and night, what I used to do is, if this thing works, if this app works, I'm opening up a YouTube channel. I'm going to tell other people, right? So that's where my story started. Uh, I think he knows my my video. We're actually talking about um, the story where I actually introduced the first app to say, guys, I was sitting in this skinny, you know, my like, oh, I want to talk. I was talking, can, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he was telling me the story. He's like, yeah, then you took out your, your phone. You're like, 
I'm recording this on my phone, so you know my first video was like weird. Like in it, in it, like the phone was falling and everything else. I don't care. Like, like I'm like, guys, this is a way to make money. It's called Flu Agent. This thing does this, that, 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 that. I got my first 350. Uh, you guys must go do it. Go try it, right? Next app. I used to sh I shot a vid three videos every day. Wow. I shot three videos every for day. Like, YouTube, for your no? YouTube. For my YouTube. Like, and but then, I didn't And then you would also share it on other social media. No. Or it just was, YouTube. It was just YouTube. Because okay. I knew YouTube would pay me. Yeah. So I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I didn't care. Don't I, don't, I, don't care. <laughs> I don't care about those ones, right? <laughs> Why so, do you think I'm focused <laughs> on YouTube so much this year? Exactly. Like, I'm like, <laughs> mm. like yeah. those are just traffic sources to get to. And, and, and those you can use as platforms to market your YouTube platform. Exactly. And, and those ones you only get likes and... That's it. So <laughs> it's like, it's, it's it's if you know how to navigate everything just to get all the platforms to go to one place that actually pays you that's how you make your money right but i didn't know this for me it was by the way i knew you youtube would pay me but i didn't know how it's gonna pay me and how much it's gonna pay me i didn't care right because i was chasing the fact that i knew something and i, I want to because i was getting 20 i had 20, 20 followers uh subscribers then tomorrow I'm got forty subscribers. I, I was running on subscribers and not money, right? Oh, you're building your subscriber yeah, base. Yeah, right? like my because community. you're coming in with that social media mentality of building your base. That's it. So you're like, let me also build here on YouTube. Yeah. Th that's it. I don't care about anything else as long as I build. And because of what, I think the way I grew, I I grew rapidly. Like from a thousand, you would wake up, you'd get like four thousand subscribers, then six thousand subscribers. That's how I was growing, right? Because everything I was, I was telling people something I've tried and they've seen me try it, right? And it's something that works. And instead of saying, go and do this, I haven't tried it, but I heard mm. from the grapevines that it might work. I'm saying, guys, yo, I did this, that, that, but I, I, one thing I used to do is break it down as I would understand it. I didn't try to be technical about it. I didn't try to be American about it. I didn't try to fancy English. Like, I, I, I'm sure I can do all of that, right? But I wanted it I wanted someone, uh, eh, eh, see someone, eh, eh, like wherever you're sitting, you're like, okay, I can relate to that. I can do that because I knew that no one who has money is gonna listen to to me talking about one dollars and five dollars and whatever. But whoever I'm speaking to, I have beginners. to identify. It's a beginner, yeah, someone who doesn't understand. People are interested to know how to make money, and you knew what the country was at the time, so you knew that. This is an opportunity for me to teach a lot of young South Africans how to make, not even just young. Yeah. There's a lot of South Africans just sitting at home, just want to know how to make money on the internet. And that's why I say the pandemic was like crazy for me. That's why I grew up, I, I blew up so fast because you were forced to watch me. Like, you need money. <laughs> like, what are you going to, are you going to watch dancing? Like, seriously, yeah. like right now, like yeah. it, between the, like you want to be entertained, but you're hungry, my guy. It, it's like, so dope that uh, Hope Ramafalo said the same thing. She also blew up during the lockdown. Oh, she yeah. now has over 100,000 YouTube subscribers. She says to me, she also started during the lockdown. Yeah. And she kind of felt, no, I thought I, w I wasn't going to make money with just dancing. Yeah. But she says, the videos that she was doing, because I'm a piano blowing up all over the world. Yeah. A lot of attention was into South Africa and yes, what are South Africans doing, doing in this space. Okay. Then she said that's when she started doing the um, Ama Piano dance video tutorials. Oh, nice. And she says that's what happens. They, that's what, uh, uh, say, I think a third or fourth video took off. Took off. Yeah, and she says one of them went viral, hit like over a million views. But that unfortunately, I think she had somebody's song in there. Then and then she only she learned later that she couldn't monetize, monetize it. She had to go back and edit it. Yeah. But it's so beautiful to listen to somebody starting a career during the lockdown. Her story is just like yours. She was telling me that her first check on YouTube was 15K, like $1,000. Yeah, that's her first check, actually. Yeah, that's the first check. I think I got 23K. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my first check. Yeah, that was your first check on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, that was my first check on YouTube. Wow. Like, girl, yeah, the 23K. Yeah. And this is after how many months you had been on on, on thing? Six. Six months. Just mm -hmm. hardly six months. Six months. Uh, yeah, close to... I think the only thing that took so long to get my money was basically them... They had to deli hand deliver the... The, the, the AdSense registration AdSense, yes. code yeah, card yeah, or something. The code card and everything yeah. else. Because it was just like the post office and everything else. Everything was just getting lost. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, in less than six months, I was uh, I got my uh, I got my first paycheck. I think one video went viral, and it's that one, my first video. So you, <laughs> right? So I've I've done like fifty videos. That was my first video. Um, it was like how to make money from M4Jam or something like that, or field agent. <clears throat> Blew up, 
And I woke up just one morning, just like, what is going on with my phone, right? Because it kept on like, you know, and I was reading comments and people were just like, it works. I don't care about anything else. Like, yes, thank me. But the fact you say, I just made 300 Rand, 400 Rand, 500 Rand. I was just like, yeah. yeah. A person's like, yo, I didn't even know what I was going to eat. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I, yeah, I didn't know. Like, I, I'm here with my parents. Like, so it was just like, okay, let's continue with this. This is a good run. This is, now we found our niche. Because I didn't know what my niche is. I didn't understand what a niche is. I didn't understand all of these and things. And let's talk about that on YouTube. What is a niche on YouTube? So basically a niche is like... Um, your content right what is your what is your content based on right so fashion that's a niche right beauty that's a niche finance that's a niche right um education that's what you do that's a niche right uh podcasting that's post podcasting chill that's a niche right that's podcasting with uh mcg and soul right and then but you must understand one thing like let's talk about cpms right with youtube even if you had to uh, in education and finance, that's the high, high the most highest paying C, uh, or CPMs, right? So even if you are a gossip channel like like Owami, right? Um, am, am I right? Owami, yes. Uh, even if you had to have a hundred on Dibu, there's the new one that I bumped into. I can Dibu. Yes. Congratulations, guys! Keep growing that channel, Dibu TV or something like that. Anyway, yes. Um, like even on a gossip channel, if she had to have like a hundred thousand views, she probably wouldn't get paid what I get paid because my CPM is higher because I'm in finance and um, education. education yeah. yeah, so um, you'll find out people saying Look, I, I get more views than you but I'm not making half of that much. I mean every month, I think right now, um, yeah I, I would get ten to 15,000 from um, YouTube but I don't have more, I don't have um, uh, higher views. I don't have higher but views. But it's because of the niche CPM, that you yeah, yeah, the CPM. So you must choose wisely. I'm not saying chase the money. Know exactly what you're doing, right? Know what you love, because you're gonna get bored. <laughs> yeah. You, you're gonna, you're gonna, you, you're not gonna wanna shoot. You're not gonna wanna. But if you love what you're doing, you will switch that camera on and you're gonna shoot. But if you're doing it because Uban Ban said you must do finance or whatever, because people, what happened is okay. So to pass to 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 to, to, to go forward with my story, so my journey was growing, and then the, everybody has their own subscribers, right? Uh, there's chillers, and then I used to have pusher gang, right? That was my people, my day ones who grew, grew with them, right? As I grew with them, I the problem I think I faced is that now me, I used to make 500 Rand, and people used to relate to the apps and surveys, right? But I can't stay in apps and surveys. Like, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a billionaire, right? <laughs> I need to, I learn as I go, right? Then I bump into things like drop shipping. I bump into things like um, e-commerce. It blows my mind. Digital marketing, right? Uh, I try drop shipping. I'm like, guys, here's drop shipping. People are like, manje. What we're is dropshipping? We're not making easy money. What we're is not, affiliate we're not, marketing? Exactly. What are all these things? We're not tapping phones. And ja, we need to learn. Yo, ah, yeah, yeah. BA is coming with another thing, you know? So people who wanted the, just the apps and the surveys started falling off. You understand? They, yeah, because they those are grow. the easy money type of people. Exactly. You understand? They don't want to do much. They don't want to do much. They just, just want you to... They're comfort zone. They want to be spoon fed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and and that and online online works with you applying yourself being there being on front of your computer in front of your phone. Yeah. But if you think whoever is teaching you or helping you, they'll give you all the info and spoon feed you. You're not gonna make money. Uh, you, you say uh, yo, you, the way you <laughs> said it. The way you said it because it's so true. But I don't want to say it. Yeah, you understand? You like you took the words out of my mouth because I was like, guys, I can't sit on five hundred anymore. I saw what is like where's the ceiling where where we, where we can hit. You know, and I started with drop shipping content, and I saw my subscribers going down, and I didn't care because I was I was like, okay, this is how a person can go and renovate their mother's house. This is how a person can go and build a real business, and not just buy breads and groceries and things like that. Because when I started drop shipping in less than three months, I made hundred k, right? So with that, if I can make in less than three months, I, I think I must explain what drop shipping is. Yeah, right? please explain it. Okay, yeah. cool. So drop shipping is it's a simple model. I don't. I always keep to my niche. That's the other thing. Always keep to whatever. A lot of people will come with all these things. Here's Herbalife. Here's Forex. Wow, 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 wow. There's a lot of people that you know will test you. You must know what you're doing. And I'm not saying don't advance and find other streams of income. But you need to know what you like. If I had to say, what are you good at in the morning? You must be like drop shipping. Right? Yeah, I got other streams of income, 
I've, I'm doing other stuff, but you need to know and you you need to be a master in one of your main thing. Of, of your main thing. That's why they always say, guys, let the main thing be the main, main thing. thing. I always make an example about coffee. I'm like, he's invested in so many businesses, but we all know when you think black coffee, you think DJ. music. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, that's his main thing. Although he's got other streams, yes, but his main thing is his music main and thing. DJing. Yeah, hundred percent. And um, so I started with drop shipping, and I, I realized the potential of what I can do. But because it was challenging, and it keeps on changing, and I had to learn about uh, Facebook ads and Google ads and all these things, and I understood that this is a skill that no one can ever take from you. You can make money anywhere in the world. You can just take your laptop and you have internet. You can be anywhere and you can still, like Jay-Z would say, put me in... in, in anywhere in, on God's green earth. I flip and triple my worth. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I love it. Exactly. That's how, that's how digital entrepreneurship is. You're not bound to connections. You're not bound to, to what degree you have. You're not who you know or whatever. Nobody cares. No one cares online. Like, no... No one cares if you're black, white, female, gay, bisexual, trans. All these things we're fighting about, nobody cares. Like, you can make that money. You get it? Like, and then I was like, uh, if this is what I have now, the skill that I have, if I could teach it to other people, right? If I could just say, guys, um, of, of course I had to monetize myself, right? So if you're going to keep me from drop shipping, I need to make something that I can teach, but also if... If that is taking my time, it needs to also make me money this side, right? So I started monetizing by, and it was like everybody on dropshipping was like offering like 4,000 Rand, 5,000 Rand, but I understood the people that I was teaching, right? Okay, guys, here's a course, 500 Rand, right? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break everything down, whatever. I'm even gonna leave my YouTube channel. I'm gonna make a whole course. Because I also wanted to understand about the course industry, because it's something that we are going to learn. Like, it's guys, we are going there. People are not gonna go to school anymore. I made a simple course during the lockdown of like what I know, like selling and talking. Yes. And I was selling it on, you know, the market called, the platform called ClickBank. Yes, of course. Guys, go check it out, clickbank.com. Love it. Affiliate marketing. S yeah. Yes. Simple, simple course. Yeah. Very simple course that I shot at my house. Yeah. Very bad quality. At some point, I was like, okay, cool. I need to, I'll start doing new courses. Mm -hmm. But I made a simple course and in less than six months, I think, and for me, it was also very cheap. I yeah. mean, I was selling this course. I was selling this course for like, what? I think $50 or something like 40 or $50. Yeah. yeah. Something so, like in South African rands, like less than 500 rands. Yes, it is. But I'll tell you, that course made uh, almost 100000 in just six months. And what I love about it, it's passive income because it's a virtual thing. It's not like it's um, more fire stock. Yes, that of, you have of, to go. 10 cases <laughs> yeah. that when it's sold out, I have yeah. to go replenish and go create more. What I love about it, you create it once. And then it's it done. It on makes a virtual platform and then people can just continue buying it. From anywhere. You know, I don't even market it anymore, even now. It's still there. Yeah. But like, I still get some, you know, money here and there. People are still buying it. And Passive. I'm, like, I'm still waiting to go make a proper, proper, proper course. But it's making money. Yeah. So basically, I'm trying to simplify what she's saying. That yeah. you can become so smart that you can create yourself some sort of a passive income revenue stream where you create things. Basically, let me put it in simple words, is you work hard once. Yes. But then that hard work continues to pay, pay you continuously. Okay, continue. Sorry. Yeah, so I did that course. Uh, it was called Seven Streams of Income. So I was teaching you everything I know, right? I was teaching you about dropshipping. I was teaching you about uh, blogging. I make money from... I'll tell you about that later. Blogging. Everything was there. Basically, seven streams of income. You choose which one fits you. Some people don't like certain things. They don't like being on camera, but they can learn dropshipping. They don't like dropshipping, but they can be on camera, you know? I did it, and then for me, I don't know, Buddha. Like I, I, I look at numbers. Like I care so much because I, I forgot that it's it needs to be passive. When you do a course, and if you have a skill, just record it, package it nicely, get all the information, make sure that it works, right? All the information that you 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 are, you are sharing, because you can't come to me and share something that doesn't work. It is not proof that it can work repetitively, right? So I put it there, and then I just started seeing. Like I was like out of how many people have signed? Okay, 100. How many people have succeeded? 20. I can't have that. Like, I started, like, like having problems with, with courses because I wanted everyone to win, right? And if 20% if of those people made it and then the other 80% is not making it, I did, what, what I know now, it's not my fault, right? People are different. Someone will hustle harder, get the information, 
and not do anything about it. Some people will do something about it, right? So it's not your, like as long as you give the right information and the proper information, yeah. and you were there, you know, to actually teach these people what what they needed, then it's fine, right? The same way that you go to college, etlasi, <laughs> we are all there. But that's the school fees. Yeah. I don't know graduate the office. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I got to understand how the the digital entrepreneurship works. And I I had to be comfortable with it. That not everybody's gonna consume my content and go do what I'm saying. Right? I can force feed you this content. I can even tell you I've got his booze number, here's booze number, funa funi more fire. You need to now ring like go get airtime. Because what happens is now that this person wants you to go buy them a time to cause boo. You give them their number. That's how it is. Some people are like that, right? So with me and digital entrepreneurship, I need to choose if I'm, I want a crowd or I want to get paid and I want other people to get paid and I want to learn more. Or I just want followers. Because a lot of people have 1.3. Did you hear that story about that, that influencer with one, two, six million um, followers? No. Took out a, ra- uh, a t-shirt line. Sold two t-shirts. Are you serious? From <laughs> six million followers. And I always say that it doesn't make sense. For you, if you're not being able, if you're not able to monetize. Yeah, yeah. because people, they're following you for their own reasons, right? Mm. You're thinking you are, you're followed, whatever. So, but if you can't monetize that following, then why are you doing that? Because YouTube, mm. even if YouTube pays me 10 to 15, I think I'm on 8,000 rand right now, right? Uh, per month. That's not enough, right? I need to make, out of all the streams of income, um, E2 from Shape, Shape Cafe uh, has to, if I come, Donna, I've got, do you know how to do Facebook marketing? No, I don't. Okay, cool. I can do that for you. Here's my quotation. That's my other stream of income because I can do Facebook marketing, right? Uh, but I don't need to be out of my uh, comfort zone to actually do this. All I need is a laptop. It, the, the standard must be, as a digital entrepreneur, I need a laptop and airtime. I don't have to move anywhere. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't even need a car. I can just be on this laptop and this internet and I can make 100k. It must make sense. If I have to stand up, that means I must take my stock, I must put it on take a lot. Take a lot must take care of all that things. I'm not five ways on how one can, I know you've got more ways. Five <laughs> ways on how one can let's let, let's talk about the easier ones mm. on how one can learn and know how to make money within a week. A week. Five five hustles. A week. Uh, I know you, you can even mention some of the ones you've mentioned. I know you spoke about the drop shipping. You spoke about okay, sharp. surveys. Yeah, okay. So the easiest first, one. The easiest one. Yeah, first, the easiest, easiest, Because now easiest, we're talking easiest. to the ones who are lazy, who don't want too much. Who don't want to do yeah, anything. Let's talk about the easy ones. Even for you guys who are lazy, who don't want to do much, there's still stuff for you. Yeah. So we're covering you as well. Uh, the first one is of obviously apps and surveys. Uh, they're all over. Uh, How does that uh, work? Basically, uh, there's one called m 4 Gem. You go in. Uh, you download the app and then you just do surveys. Surveys. Mm. Yeah. So surveys and apps uh, that you can do. You just you download the apps and surveys. Just go on on YouTube. Just go apps that can make me money. Two hundred rand a day and just get that right. Download those apps every day. Sit there. It's con- time consuming, but it does pay. Right. That's for lazy, lazy people. The second one is affiliate marketing. Right. So all you gotta do is identify companies that need your promotion. More fire. Let's say DJ's Boo has a more fire, and every time someone buys from you, their link, you give them a link, and anyone buys from their link, you will give them a portion or commission from 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 the product. Right. Maybe it's fifteen rand more fire, and then you say you'll take a one hundred fifty or two rand or two rand. Or this hard. is really good for all of you guys with like big platforms. Say you got ten thousand followers or a hundred thousand followers you don't know how to monetize that there she is for you You can follow her platforms and go learn about what is affiliate marketing basically can be more fire can be any other company can even be virtual companies that sell virtual products Mm -hmm. where you can take their links and put them in every post that you put up and if anybody clicks on that post or maybe you advertise it to your audience they click on that post they go to that website maybe on take a lot or on amazon fba whatever it is whatever program it is they buy once they buy, then you get some sort of a percentage. And percentages range from like, what, 5%, 10%? Even 50%. Even fi- Are you serious? On digital, pro- on digital products. Yeah, digital things. Like if, you, like if I was doing it, but I don't, like I've got enough traffic, like I've got an e-book of drop shipping, right? Uh, I would say take 100 rand. I take 100 rand if anyone buys from your link, right? Because I lose nothing. It's a digital product. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like it's it's there forever. Like so, if you if you if you know anyone trying to sell a digital product, which is uh, probably 
a fit and wellness uh, ebook or online course or whatever situation just ask them if they, they should have you know uh, i think the best platform is click Click, uh, Clickbank. Yeah, Clickbank. Com. yeah, there we go. You can get all the, the companies that are there. You can start affiliate marketing. And guys, it's so easy because you can even know the number of people that are going Wait. online searching certain keywords. Mm. And then once you've got that information, you can know which niche to focus on on Clickbank. So you don't have to focus on things that, you know, nobody's buying or nobody's interested in. Like, for instance, on Clickbank, I do know that um, the slimming barking. Oh, that slimming product. Yeah. You, you, all of you guys are promoting you know, that. <laughs> products and all like, that. we all have I'm a not, problem. But I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. I do know. Oh, oh you know. Because I educate myself. Oh, you know? okay. I know a lot of people I was about to say, a lot of people are, I, I will, like, I think we have, like, a serious problem in, like, in the world. Like, everything when it comes to, like, slimming. Like, that's the, like, anyway, it's an industry, it's a talk for another day. That industry is a million dollar industry. Like billions, sp- billions yeah. and billions, because everybody's trying to lose weight. I don't know why. I want to gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, come here. Like, see, guys, <laughs> I'm just people look good. That's what they say to us. <laughs> and, and let's talk about another. Okay, hustle. so le- le- the apps. On, let's let's actually put numbers on this, okay. so we, we can you know you could look at what you want to do as lazy as you want, right? If you want to be lazy and then go up. So with uh, apps and surveys, you can look to making two hundred rand to a thousand rand, right? Uh, a, month. Mark, a month, yeah. right? Um, depending on what you do, right? If you if you sit there the whole day, you can make more, but I doubt, right? Uh, and then affiliate marketing, it's it's up to you. It's really up to you. You can make twenty thousand, thirty thousand rand. It's really up to you, right? Start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel. Start a YouTube channel. Like even even when I sleep, someone is watching my video. As we are here, someone is actually watching another episode of uh, of, of Hustlers Corner or Mukuku. Uh, like there's someone that's watching something, right? And YouTube will, will will definitely pay you, right? They will definitely pay you, especially if your CPM is really high. I know a lot of as I was watching McG and and and, and, and Soul and with you guys, they, they are honest and say YouTube doesn't pay you. But what are you doing on YouTube? Right? Let's, those are questions we need to ask. What are you doing on YouTube? Are you educating? Are you in the finance industry? If you're on those sides of, of education and finance industry, your CPM is going to be higher. You know, you that 15000 or 20000 that they do pay you. If I had McGee's numbers, I'd be a millionaire just from YouTube. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not a millionaire. I'm lying. Definitely. You will, be. You, will be. you will be. Yeah. Yeah. So another way is basically... Uh, E- uh, e-commerce right so e-commerce and drop shipping is two different things people mustn't confuse e-commerce is basically having a product online and selling it but you need to have the product physically right so you are maybe selling uh, more fires you put them on online and as a person order you would send them the, yourself so right? you can set up your own shopify store no? uh, shopify equid wordpress it goes on and on right you must just choose what what fits you or your pockets that is e-commerce that one you <sighs> I, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan because I've, I've automated my, all my stuff. Like, everything runs concurrently. You like, see, guys, she's so smart. Automating your stuff basically is putting together an e-commerce business that you don't have to be there. You basically can just check your phone or how much money you've made that day. So you don't have to actually be there and do the hard work every day. You set this thing up, you automate it. And then you can focus on other things. things. It's making money. That's why I'm like, guys, go follow her. She can teach you all these things, yeah? Yeah, so, um, yeah. And then there's drop shipping. This is the highest one, right? This is where I get my bag. Like, I... Actually, let me, let me finish with drop shipping. Let's say you start a YouTube channel. Monetize that YouTube channel. Don't, don't wait for anything else. Like, if you know you have a skill or you can teach um, dancing, monetize that with the followers that you have. Let's say you're a dancer, yeah. right? have dancing classes or um, basically say, I'm going to give you a private lesson, right? Let's go on Zoom or whatever, set up your thing, that person does the dancing. And then you can also do one-on-ones, right? Master classes. And on your one-on-ones, you can charge a little bit higher Higher. because you're focusing on one one person. person. You're giving them your time. So you can sell your time in exchange for, I guess? It's called skill sharing. Okay. So uh, that's basically master classes, online courses, and e-books. Those three things. So you can break them down, but that's basically your um, digital products that you're selling. Or it's physical. I don't know how people want to do it, depending on the channels that they have, right? And then now I can get into basically dropshipping. Dropship, take a lot. Dropshipping will be the last one. Take a lot is basically um, Amazon is coming. This is like, I'm very, very excited. Amazon is coming to South Africa. So the blueprint of take a lot has been taken 
uh, from a- Amazon, right? From the FBA program, right? Yes, FBA. Because program. that's what that's that's when it start. That's why it this started. This was yeah. So for but there's a local version on Take a Lot. Exactly. Right. There's no local version. It's just that I think I, I'm one of the people that actually started. Okay. It, 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 take a lot doesn't care. Like it, it, I don't think they they were educating people of how to. Not not they don't care, but they were not giving people information to say. No one knew that most of take a lot's product don't come from take a lot. It comes from suppliers. It comes from me and you. You more fire. You put it on take a lot. Like people will think no take a lot is selling. Mofire. They don't know there's a DJ's boo who's given Take A Lot that Mofire to sell, right? So with Take A Lot, I feel also, I, I love being hands-off so I can do other things, Yeah. right? So what you do is basically you find a winning product. And it's, this is very important. If you're just going to sell randomly and prob- you're going you're gonna to run into two things, you guys are going to fight for uh, product margins, right? So you, uh, your product is cheaper than mine or, you know what I'm saying, how does my product work, is it top quality, I don't want to fight with anyone. So I look for PSP, problem solving products. Um, let me make an example. I think my, my highest one was, um, when I first started selling on Take A Lot, was the clip clip, slides, yeah. right? When the slides came in, there were plain ones. Then there was like teddy bear ones and whatever situations. We won because, first of all, our price was a little bit lesser. Uh, people are selling it for like four nine nine. We're selling it for one nine nine. So finding the supplier will be a problem, but I don't want to get into detail with that. So if you find a problem solving product like a, a back stretcher where you've got back problems and that's stre- why 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 you told that you yeah, just stretch it yeah. and then it gives you posture. Straight you see how we're posture. sitting? We're not supposed to be sitting like that. Yeah. But that's why we have yeah, straight posture. So that was one of my best sellers on, on, on Take A Lot because nobody knew about that. You know, with the back stretches and things like that. But because I was a drop shipper, I know how to do my research. That's and how. Get, sorry, go ahead. That's how I would beat most sellers because they want to sell, I don't know, um, mouses and things like that. Whatever. I, I'm looking for a problem that can be solved by a product. By a product. Mm, so they don't do their research on products first. They uh-uh. just sell. They they just sell. Mm. So with I I always go for that because I have a drop shipping background. But if I didn't have a drop shipping background, I wouldn't even know what that means. I would be just like every other seller. I'd find a product, I'd put it on take a lot and hope to make money. So some people put products on take a lot and then they don't make money. But you're fighting with other sellers, right? They're all selling soaps. They're all selling all these things. I'm not selling what they're selling. I'm just you are just my trademark to say, um, you can trust me. I'm also on take a lot. You understand? But I don't care because I have my own sites on, 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 on different platforms to say, okay, you don't want to buy here? Buy on take a lot. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't trust my site? It's fine. Buy on take a lot. I'll still get that money. You know what I'm saying? So uh, with, with, with uh, take a lot, what I love about what's going to happen now is that they have to drop their prices for sellers, right? They have because they have huge, um, you know. Inventory. Uh, not inventory, uh, what's this, uh, percentages. Uh, and it will make you doubt to actually sell on take a lot. But I know 16, 17 year olds, like, of course, our Caucasian brothers, they always are far ahead of us, right? Uh, that are making 40 to 60K, 70K. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, now I've run it as a business, I take a salary from it now. I don't take it as this is my money. Because, uh, you know, you have warehouses, you have all these things that you have to pay, you've got stuff now that you have to pay, right? So with Take A Lot, what I do is I do the research, then you get other people to do the back end of everything. So I would say this product is going to work. This is the thing. And then I monetize Take A Lot because not a lot of people can sell or know they can sell on Take A Lot. So you do a master class. You don't charge that much. You charge about 100 Rand, 200 Rand just to teach them the basics. This is how you register. This is what you do. This is product research. This is what you do. I do it on a Saturday or a Sunday when I have time. Two hours. Boom, boom. Done, right? You've monetized that. So all these streams of income are still coming in, but you don't need to be physically there. As they come, your YouTube channel is making money, your your job shipping store is making money, your affiliate program is making money. All these things are making money, and you're doing this one thing, right? Yeah. And then my last one is basically having my drop shipping store, right? I love it. It's a passion. The reason why I like it because it's not easy to do. Everything changes in drop shipping, and I think all drop shippers actually know this. That's why I'm scared to teach drop shipping because I don't want someone to. Ask me a question that I don't that I don't yeah, know. You know what I'm saying? Like, an answer to. I don't have an answer to. So with drop shipping, basically, you have a store. Very simple. You have a store. You build a beautiful store at, with with all the trust factors, and you get a supplier, right? So um, let's say we are selling phones, right? I don't have store phones on hand, but I'm selling these iPhones and everything else. 
but my supplier is selling uh, this iPhone for 1.3 I'm just gonna add just a 1.8 so every time a customer um, was this buys from my store I take my percentage I send it to the supplier the supplier sends it straight to the customer the products yeah the product, so you yeah. don't have to own the in oh but in carry the inventory yourself. I don't have to carry nothing I can sell I can even sell if I want to I can sell Gucci and Gucci won't do anything about it I can sell Gucci in their store and then after the customer has uh, but yeah, I can. No, I'm saying like no one. Really, her, yeah, yeah, because not, she's so dope with all of this knowledge. Guys, go follow her and go learn from her. Sorry, continue. Yeah. So if if I, I don't have to tell Gucci where my my clients are coming from, how much is Gucci? Uh, twenty thousand sharp. Like twenty three thousand sharp. And then I'm gonna call Gucci and be like, yo, I've got an order. Take it here. And it's Gucci's gonna take it straight to the customer. <laughs> the customer wouldn't know, right? So that's basically that's basically how dropshipping works. So. You can do, you can sell anything and that's why I love, the only thing is, it's as easy as, you see how easy I'm saying it is, right? Yeah. It's not that easy. I know. Right? Yeah. <laughs> because you make so much money on dropshipping, right? So you have to understand analytics, you have to understand marketing, like, like, like marketing. Isn't marketing, yeah, nah, like boost the, and stop boosting, please, dropshippers. Stop boosting posts. That's not marketing. Find the uh, Facebook market, um, uh, it's a Facebook um, manager, yeah, it's the back end. Yeah, because I think the most everything. powerful ads is Facebook ads, ne? Not, not anymore. Hey, Facebook, Google ads, TikTok. Oh, I, oh yes, <laughs> yes, yes, TikTok, yeah, TikTok yes. ads, and they are not available in South Africa, but they, I know where. No, but they've started. Uh, they started. Oh, I think maybe now it's their ads, because now when you go into TikTok, the first thing you see is an ad. But it's from uh, corporations, okay. like TikTok, oh, uh, like okay. uh, Take a Lot and things like that. But as an individual, you won't get it. But I know how to do it. So, um, yeah, I just use an uh, international um, account. That's it. And then you just link it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I run TikTok ads to South Africans. Mm. With, I don't need the third party to do it for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so TikTok is... TikTok, you don't even need to run ads on TikTok. TikTok, you can get traffic to your store and get sales. That's how crazy it is, right? So, that's why I say I'm... Everybody's like, please do a master uh, uh, a drop shipping uh, course because we're getting scammed by these people. You know what I'm saying? They're not teaching us what we want to. You know, I'm like, guys, the reason why I've, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable with uh, making a course on on drop shipping, it changes all the time. That means I have to come back and be like, yo, don't 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 press there anymore. Press here. You know, do this. Oh, that doesn't work anymore. Like you said, Facebook about three months ago. Four, four months ago, before Meta came in, it was the most powerful place that you can actually run ads. It's not anymore. It's TikTok. I know this because I'm doing this on a regular basis. So these are the things when, because when you do a course, you sit there for six months, like you said, recording everything, doing everything, and the next week, it's a different thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it, for me, it was like, okay, how do I, if I'm going to do this, I'd like to do one-on-ones, you know? But with even with one on ones, Zbu, I'm telling you this: you can force feed someone, Oga, Odulele, and and show them everything. I guarantee you, when they get home, they're not going to do half of the things. That's what, like, I do believe some people are meant to be rich, and some people are just gonna work for the rich. And it's like that: we're not built the same. The things that I desire and the things that I want is not gonna be the same because we don't have the same drive. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> we don't have the same drive. You won't, you won't sit there and listen. Even the it, attention span now, people just want to flip, flip, flip. They don't want to learn anything, right? For a person to sit down and listen to someone talk about something that will change their life. Like, I'm telling you something that will change your life. No. They want to watch that... Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and it's fine. We're not saying something is wrong with that. I'm just saying that we all different. Even if I force feed people this information, I, I'm a, I have accept, accepted and I, I understand now. It took me a long time to say, only 1% of these people are going to do this. And it's okay. You did your part, right? You did your part. You said you did all these things to give people all that information that has been hidden for a very long time. That is hard to find. Because even if you had to do a course... Uh, it was Buddha. I was looking at this girl. Let's talk about Airbnb. That's one of my other side hustles, right? Um, so Airbnb without property, without owning property. See how simple it sounds. Like back in the days, you had to own property. Own property, yeah. You can go to my morning, lease out a place, and then 
furnishes nicely bed whatever situation and then let's say the rent is 3.5 the first week if if people listen to this so the first week or second week right first week or second if your airbnb is 800 rand or 1000 rand the first week you already made your rent so the other three months the other three weeks that's your profit right people can actually do that you can tell people this and they have the ability to actually do this but a person will come to your master class and decide never to do it mm. because it's too hard for me to talk to people it's hard for me to ask people, people find everything hard yeah. you understand mm. and it's not a you problem you gave the information I right? know. I you mean, paid me I, I, I give you information more for selling videos Okay. So I came up selling. I've been making money from since I was a kid, like selling yeah. all the way up until I got into the entertainment industry. Obviously, I did very well in the entertainment industry because I can't know who you and I can sell, right? But people are always gonna give you an excuse, like ah, they're buying because you are smooth. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Like the most ridiculous, the most ridiculous. There's always an excuse, and there's always yeah, because immediately when you give people a solution, a lot of the times they answer it. They answer it. With an excuse. Of course. And and those are different types of people. And I guess that's how, uh, you know, people are not the same. We're not the but same. But there are other people who are so hungry that they're willing to want to learn and they're willing to go and apply themselves and practice. A lot. And those are the people that get uh, separated from the rest. Exactly. As long as you play your part, I do believe it's Buddha. Like, just play your part. Whatever part it is, when I just know that if you gave, if you're honest, like if I was not honest, I was showing um, the, uh, uh, one, of, one of the guys that work here, I was like, look at all the crypto guys that are offering me $500, $1,000. I just, uh, uh, ridiculous. I'm, when I say $1,000, I'm talking about $30,000. i am talking about $20,000. Just to say, hey, this is a new Bitcoin. This is what you're going to do. Uh, you understand? It's risky. You it's know? risky. Not only is risk. I don't know. And that's and not oh, my. I get you. you get it's it. Not like that's forte. not. That's my yeah. forte. Why would I lie now to people and be like, just because now I've got this bag? If, uh, to be honest, if I didn't have the things that I'm doing right now, no one is gonna say no to thirty thousand or forty thousand, right? Mm. If I was just a, a, a just an influencer or whatever situation, and I don't blame influencers for taking the bag because they need the bag, right? But for me, it's just like, you. You are taking me out of my comfort zone, right? I have Bitcoin. I'm not dumb. Like, I have I have crypto. Like, I am in the crypto. But I can't teach about something that I don't know or don't understand, mm. right? Let me get to a point where I do understand it and I can actually start introducing it to my uh, most audience. Because my audience, first thing, it doesn't fail. It's, and my reputation is more... Like, I, I am in it for the long run, yeah. right? Your reputation is everything. I'm in it for the long run. So if I was only doing it for for just now, just to eat now, it would be it would be something else. I would take all these deals that I'm I'm being offered every single day. I I get two or three emails from international companies. We <laughs> yeah. are from what 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 what, and I was I was like showing uh, uh, the other guy here, right? I was like, if I had to take all of these, I'd make at least about six hundred k just to say yes yeah. to all of them, right? Yeah. But I'm not gonna do it because it's not my forte. So also with uh, entrepreneurship, né? digital entrepreneurship. Really, really understand what you're doing. Like, get in and be like, just educate yourself. You can, you have to execute. Yes, because I always like, don't turn me into Google every time in my, in my, in my DMs. Because I'll answer you once, twice, three times, four times, maybe five. But if you don't implement, and we've been talking, my guy, you're turning me into Google. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. You think I'm good enough to answer your questions, but you don't think I'm good enough for you to pay me mm. to answer your questions. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, if you don't implement next time, you must come back and like, yo, I did one, two, three. Oh, you're coming back and asking me now about affiliate marketing, drop shipping. You're asking me about different things. I'm like, just start. You haven't even one. started one. You haven't even started one, Buddha. Start, start something, you know? Then we can talk. But now, uh, I don't want tomorrow you might like, hi, that one is very rude. Because it happens, like, hi, that one is very rude. Didn't want to answer what, what. No, I did answer. Go check. Go check your thing. I did answer you. We did talk about this. But you haven't executed anything. So <laughs> now we are just, just stuck in the middle. So just start, pick one, and digital entrepreneurship is the new future. Just start, pick one, execute. Digital entrepreneurship is the new future. So we're also going to have her on the Hustlers Corner on the other side because I kind of feel the information that she has um, has to be shared with as many people as possible. So hopefully you guys are going to follow on her on her platforms and you're also going to go out there and do the work. Guys, it's not about talking. It's about doing the actual work. This wasn't really uh, an interview per se, but it was just to expose uh, her to you guys and say, hey, 
Guys, there's a lot of people out there who are making money on the internet. There's a lot of money to be made on the internet. Let's stop this thing of having this narrative that says with our mouth, Guys, once you are on the internet, remember you're already international. She's speaking dollars. You can even hear in her mouth. Then she's, it's become so normal that she speaks about dollars. And she speaks about international platforms or international people that are hearing her up. Why? Because she's on the internet. You're already international. You're already global, guys. You don't have to wait to get into a flight and go to New York or London. You are already international. The fact that you guys are already posting on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you already... You, the fact that you got a, a YouTube channel already, you're already international. So I'm looking forward to um, us hosting her on the Hustlers Corner where she's going to unpack more on her story and she'll touch on this and even more. But I kind of felt, let me just expose it to you guys. Some of you guys who don't know, I know a lot of you guys do know about her work. And thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. I was so proud honor. of you. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> you don't understand. Yeah, thank you so much. You know, I always say to people, like, I, I know people are going to be so... I, I remember when um, there's a guy called Clement, he's an actor. Yes. And there's a guy called Cornet Mamabolo, he's an actor. Yes. I think they were both on Scheme Sam. Uh. When I first met them, this is like 2013, 2014, or 2015, earlier on, like a few years ago. Mm. I said to Clement, Clement, make sure you hold on to this guy. This guy is going to be rich. <laughs> Cornette is now rich. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. Was him the other day. I was like, did that man listen to me when I told him or ask how to be rich? He's like, no, he's still my boy. You know? <laughs> we make making money together, which is so dope. Thank you so, so much. So anybody that knows this person or that wants to learn from this person, and I wouldn't just bring anyone. It's because i had been following them for a while, and I kind of believe, okay, this is a person I can bring to my platform. Because the last thing that I want as well is, you brought us somebody, and that person disappeared, they scammed us, we don't know who mm. they are, and, and then I'm left here with the egg on my face because I recommended somebody whom uh, I compromise my own reputation on. So with this one, guys, I don't want to lie to you. I've been following her for quite some time. She's consistent in what she shares. And a lot of the things that you speak about, it's things that I've also been exposed to. So um, I'm looking forward to learning more from you. Thank you so much, Buddha. We'll see you on the Hustlers Corner. Guys, young people are doing great things <laughs> with their lives out there. The question is, what are you doing with yours? Dan, I'll see you guys in the next video. DJ School Live presents TikTok Game changes.